Hey guys, this is Tabia Sobi, and today, well, it's a demon eat demon world out there in Shin Megami Tensei 5, which makes finding and fusing the strongest demons a big key to your survival. On that note, I'm going to show you where you can recruit your first 13 demons, lucky number 13, and also show you the first 35 demon fusions that you can unlock in the game. In the meantime, while we're going through the demons here, I'm also going to share 7 demon recruiting tips which should be especially helpful for folks who are playing Shin Megami Tensei 5 as their first ever Shin Megami Tensei game. Let's go! Number 1. Make sure that your level is at least equal to the demon that you are recruiting. If it's lower, the demon will refuse to serve under you because you're basically just small fry. It's like metabots. More power, more demons. Number 2. If a demon you want to recruit is part of a group, make sure to get rid of its companions first. This will make sure that you don't get mobbed by several monsters should you fail in your attempt to recruit that one demon. Number 3. Is there a specific demon you're having a hard time recruiting? Check your moon cycle. When you talk to a demon like Azumi, for example, during a new moon, which is signified by a 1-8th reading at the top left of the screen, the demon will be in a good mood. This will make it easier to recruit it to your party. Number 4. There will be times when a demon will ask for something that you either don't have or don't want to give away. If so, you will get an option to ask the demon for something else. So, if you don't want to give money or life stones, for example, telling a demon to ask for something else might give you the option to give part of your HP or MP instead. I especially like to give HP or MP because those are easy to recover. Just note that you can only ask for something else for a limited number of times before the demon gets mad and decides to spank you. Number 5. Try try again. If at first you don't succeed, you can talk to the same demon again in the next turn as long as it doesn't run away. Just let it attack you again and wait for the Nahobino's turn to come up, and then pick the talk option once more. Number 6. If you ever run out of space to recruit new demons and aren't able to free up any for some reason, no worries. Just continue to recruit those demons anyway. If you're successful, the demon will say that you don't have enough space, but if you return to the demon later when you have space available, it will join your party automatically without the need to convince it again. And then number 7. Not all demons are alike. Some like to be wooed or have their instructions followed. Others like to trick you or respond better to rudeness. You'd think they were demons or something. And then of course you also have demons who respond better to fighting and even chivalrous behavior. Anyway, part of the fun. Or stress. <laughs> In demon negotiations is figuring out a demon's personality and what reactions make them tick. Anyway, there you go. Some quick tips on demon recruiting. Now enjoy the rest of the video. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabi Asobi, and thank you for watching.
Here you go. Hey. Uh huh.
Thank you. 